Price is part. Oh, I have more time on my phone now. That's weird. This is like a one hour, yeah. Part two. Well, we just be like, are you going to share her? Yeah, she will. She's greedy, obviously. But she has, like, no money in her account, right? She's, like, poor compared to me. She has maybe 500k in her bank. She's rich, but, like, you can easily blow through that in, what? In, like, two, three years. She's poor compared to me, obviously. She gives you that look. How much money did you make off your book, by the way? I mean, she gives you she gives you that look. I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, I made, like, $7.5 million. You made $7.5 million? I'm like, yeah, I showed her my account. She's like, holy shit. That's fucking a lot of money, Ivan. I think we can do other things with this money, yeah. I mean, by the way, are you going to share that money with me? Are you going to share that? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to share it with you, man. Relax, man. She's fucking evil, yeah. I shared the money with her all this when we moved to Vancouver. Why she wants to share it? I mean, because, she, come on, man. She, she, we, she, Victoria Justice wants to what? She wants to share, to share in the billions with me, honestly. She, she, has, she, has, she, has, she wants to get stuff. She wants to get clothes. She wants to get her nice cars. That's why she wants a piece of the money too. Obviously, duh. <laughs> She's greedy. She wants. She wants to get her nice clothes. She wants to get her high end cars. You know what I'm saying? She wants to build the three fifty million car with me. She wants to buy the two jets. She wants to buy the yacht. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> How will the car look like? Well, me and Vijay have to talk that over with. Obviously, what I'll do is I'll go on on Google. I'm like Vijay, what designs do you like? I like the glass look, Ivan. Yeah, I like the glass design look too. I think that looks luxury. I don't like the traditional look, VJ. I want the glass look for the condo. What do you think of this for the garage? My clarification video. The, uh, it's a garage like this. Yeah, Ivan, let's, let's, let's build a garage like that. Yeah, that's fucking nice. A nice garage like that for the interior. Yeah, the 350 minute condo. Yeah. Whereas well, clothes, you can get whatever style you want. Oh, see, women are obsessed with clothes. That's why Victoria Justice is gonna is, 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 is gonna go is one is, is gonna want to go on that clothes shop, that clothes shopping spree with me. Ivan, you want to go? Ivan, you talked about going clothes shopping. You want to go clothes shopping? Well, yes. Let's go clothes shopping, and we go to the mall. We buy a bunch of clothes. Yeah. A lot of clothes. Yeah. We buy a bunch of clothes. The Ivan, yeah, a lot of clothes we buy. We buy a bunch of clothes, obviously. Yeah. But don't go overboard with the clothes, VJ. I'm gonna tell her that. Well, I what do you mean? Like, don't buy any more than like a hundred clothes. That's enough. Fifty shirts, fifty pants is enough. Don't get like a thousand clothes like Beeves and the Kardashians. They waste money. They, they, they waste a show of money. They don't even wear out their fucking shoes and clothes. That's what I'm saying. I will have a big clothing collection, but not something like the Kardashians and Justin Bieber. That's crazy. They have like 300 shoes and like a thousand pants and shirts. No. Get like a hundred pants. Uh, uh, 50 pants, 50 shirts is enough. 14 pair of suits. 35 pair of shoes. That's enough. A lot of shoes, but not like 300 shoes like the, like the, like, like the celebrities have. Get like 35 shoes. That's enough. Wear your different shoes during the year. And then when they wear out, you buy new ones. You buy new ones. Yeah. We can get three cars each. That's enough. I don't want to get 20 cars. You're wasting money. There's nothing worse than owning 20 cars. You don't even drive half your fucking cars. Your car is just sitting there. And you're, the, the, the what? You're, you're paying those hefty monthly fees for your cars. Yeah, get like three cars. That's enough. I'll get my Jeep. My uh, my Porsche. And my, and my Ferrari. Or I might get the Bugatti and maybe you might or get the Bugatti, get the Jeep and then get the uh the Ferrari. I don't know. Bugatti I'll probably get later. I don't know. Maybe after Zane's I'll get the Bugatti, but for now I'll just get the Ferrari. Bugattis are rare. You can only buy them in auctions, or you can build them yourself. Build build the car yourself obviously if you want, but Sir, that's how you usually live in life, man. Like Incredibles. <laughs> yeah. The jet will be like Incredibles. The con will be like in Incredibles. 
Because I'm, I'm buying a $300 million jet. I'm putting $10 million into generations. That would be like what you saw in Incredibles. Obviously, the condo will be like Incredibles. 350 million is unheard of. But 500 million is even more high tech. But even 350 million is you're looking for like Incredibles. Something high, high tech. The Grand Council property will be very fucking nice. Almost like Incredibles. Yeah, my office will be like, like high tech, like Incredibles. But $200 million is unheard of towards a project. But if I put 500 million towards, that's even more high tech. That's exactly like Incredibles. But uh, chances are I won't make that money. I'm probably going to make my 5, my 7, my 9. So that. That 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 money towards the the, the studio lot is is, is 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 high tech man. I'm putting two hundred million towards my studio lot. It's a lot of money. The building project, yeah. Nice office. Nice office. I'm gonna own, yeah. Oh, that's a we just live a life, obviously. <coughs> it's so nice my property land that like when I show my two script developers and my seventeen, this is your office, they're all shocked. Holy shit, I even we're working here. This is where we're working. Yeah, guys, this is your office. They're like, holy shit. Like, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, James Gunn, or, or, you know what I'm saying, Peter Rice, they're all shocked. The Russo brothers are shocked. Holy shit, like, this is the this is our office. Yeah, guys, this is your office. They're like, holy shit, this is nice. This is nice. This is fucking Hollywood. Yeah. <coughs> Bob Iger has a nice fucking office. The Disney CEO. His office is very nice, but it won't be as nice as my office. My office will be nicer than that, but he has a fucking nice office. <coughs> Kathy Kennedy probably has a nice office too. It's not as nice as my office, yeah, because I'm, I'm putting a lot of money towards my property land. But Disney does have a beautiful studio lot though. Their studio lot's very beautiful. Warner Bros. has a beautiful studio lot too, but it's not as nice as mine. As mine, you have the Gran Turismo look, man. It's something fucking nice. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I showed you guys that picture. Yeah. I'm going to tell the, uh, the architect I want it exactly like this, guys. Okay, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? You have your parking lot, Marble 4 parking lot, the main office, where me, VG, the 17, and Peter Ramon, all of them work. And right beside that, you have the special effects unit building. You build all the, the, the rooms for the, all the departments for visual effects. The concert art rooms in that building. That's where we do the concert arts. That's where the visual effects team works. You have another huge building. That's the game studio building. That's where the people for the game work. Rad Brad's office, everything. Yeah, the producer's office. All the writing team for the game, everything. Obviously, and then you have a, a docking area for the yacht. Obviously, a docking area for the for the jet. Obviously, I'm also gonna build a storage room for the jet, a storage room for the yacht. In winter time, you park the jet inside the building. Winter time, you park the yacht inside the this, this storage facility building. That's where you park the yacht. Because winter time, you can't leave your yacht out there in the winter. You'll ruin your yacht. You have to park it in the storage. So, so in the winter time, we don't use a yacht. We use a jet in the winter time. We don't use a yacht. We park the yacht in the, in the storage room. You have to build a facility for that. That won't cost much to build, some Sarah. Yeah. Obviously. Some Sarah? Yeah. 
Peter Jackson or Mel, we shot I this is your land? This is your studio lot? I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit, this is nice. This is beautiful. You got the beautiful view of the mountains uh, right next to the water. All right, this is beautiful. This is much nicer than fucking New Line's lot. Yeah. yeah New Line's lot wasn't even that nice to bring your lot, Ivan. Yeah. Peter and Mel are shocked. Red Ivan, your company's top notch. This is better than Hollywood. Yeah, it's very hard. Like, everything in your company is high tech, man. Your jet, you have your high end condo, you have your high end yacht. You know, it's like your nice fucking property of land. You have your perks with the limo services and luxury buffet. Yeah. I'm going to have coffee for, for my seven team. The seven team do not have to buy coffee. I'm going to provide them with coffee. I'm going to go to the store and buy the coffee. What will you buy, Ivan? I'll buy, like, regular coffee and, like, flavored, like, hazelnut vanilla coffee, whatever it is. I'll buy the cream for it, too. I'll get flavored cream and regular cream, whichever cream you like. Most people pr pr probably prefer the flavored cream. It's better. They make your coffee taste better, but, I mean, Yeah. And I'll buy tea for Peter if I hire Peter or Mel, whatever it is. Peter, what tea do you like? I like this. Anytime's fine. Okay, I'll go to the store. I'll buy tea for you and your wife, Fran, if you like tea. You can drink your tea every morning when you work. You work on a script. You can drink your tea. I drink my coffee. I like tea, but I prefer coffee over tea, right? Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go just to get more coffee. I'll be back in a sec. Don't wait. Let's give it if you don't want to wait.
All right, I'm back. Sorry for long wait, guys. I went to get my coffee and I had to warm it in the microwave. Ugh. Yeah, my my phone goes for longer now. It's like an hour and like twenty minute video now. It's, I think it's because my ba my battery has to be like one hundred percent or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's how we're gonna be living the life, DJ. It's cool owning. It's it's cool to like own your own studio, man, and to be the boss of your own company. That's fucking cool. That's fun. And so you come to work every day. The doctor's showing me us too every day when we work. Yeah, we're having a blast, man. Wherever we work, the doctor's wherever we work, the doctor's showing us. We're having a blast. Yeah. The documentary. Yeah. In my office working. The doctor's filming me, he's filming DJ, filming me when I'm working on a script with Peter. <clears throat> yeah. Or Mel. Peter's like, Ivan, you have you're filming I Ivan, are you filming up behind the scenes of this? I'm like, yeah. Because I know I know there's a doctor following us around. Yeah, Peter, I'm filming a documentary. And you have to ask Peter and, and, and Fran all them, is it okay if the doc team do I have your permission to film you? If they have to act if the if they say no, you can't film them, obviously. But Peter will obviously be like, yeah, it's fine. They can film me. All the actors will agree to be filmed, obviously, because they, they, they got to be part of the behind-the-scenes documentary, yeah. And for my documentary, it's the best documentary ever because I'm filming the behind-the-scenes of the behind-the-scenes. Whereas for the movie, they only film the behind-the-scenes and making of the film. That's it. But they don't film the behind-the-scenes of the behind-the-scenes because in Hollywood, they can't do that because it's dirty over there, right? You can't film... No, don't hate me, no. You can't film uh, uh, the Hollywood execs offering the actors a contract because... There's dirty shit attached to that contract. That's why they don't film the behind scenes. The behind scenes in Hollywood. <laughs> <coughs> you know what I'm saying? It looks very dirty. Whereas for my copy, it's clean. That's why I can film the behind scenes of the behind scenes. Obviously, don't hate me, Hollywood. But I'm saying, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Like I'm actually filming the signings of the actors, the signing of the seventeen, the signing of Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson. Me working on a script. Me in my condo with VJ. Peter Jackson and then Fran and George Lucas in their hotel. I'm filming the behind scenes of that. The actors, the actors in their house, yeah. Only film a tiny little bit of the actors in their house. You don't have to film much. Focus more on the actors like training, second year. Um, the, the behind the scenes of the ad shoots, the behind the scenes of the commercials, the behind the scenes of the interviews. Yeah. The behind the scenes of the web designer, graph, uh, graph designers too. Them editing the picture, the tar for taking the pictures, the web designer coding the website. Like the, the website launch, I want you to film the behind the scenes of the, of the web designer coding the, 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 the what the Skyscraper's website. Skyscraper's on that website, yeah. Let's see. What are you gonna call your, uh, your, 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 what's the name of your, of your, of your, of your, of your, of your address for what, for your website? Skivesource.net or Skive.net. Skive.net, Skivesource.net, Skivefilm.net. There's many names you can put out there. Yeah, I like Skivesource.net or Skive.net. Skive.net, I think that's cool. Skive.net is the name of my uh, my website. That's what I'm selfie made, man. Yeah, Ivan, what do you want the name of your website? Okay, skive.net. That way it's simple for you guys. You just write skive, S-K-Y-I-V, and then dot net, and then it takes you to the website. <laughs> like, yeah, nice fucking website. So, like, I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, yo, I want you coding a better website than Netflix. Yeah, I mean, I'll code a better website for you. He codes an amazing website. <laughs> yeah. Well, you better than Netflix, yeah. I'll say, code a website just as good, if not better than Netflix. I don't know if you can top Netflix. The Netflix website is very, very beautiful. It's, 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 it's the nicest website out of all the companies, right? HBO Max is also very beautiful, too. Obviously. Disney Plus is pretty nice, but it's not as nice as that. The Netflix website is nicer, but... Like, code a better website than Netflix or just as good as Netflix. He's like, okay, 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 and he codes an amazing website for my company, yeah. Obviously. That's why the web design is very important, because the website is the foundation of your company. That's where people go to see the trailers. That's where people go to see the doc. 
That's where people will go to see Rabbi's walkthrough. That's where people go to purchase the movie. That's where people go for the Sky Source news. The Sky Source news will only be on my website. It's not going to be at these news. At these, the news organizations are not going to cover my company because my company is behind the scenes. I didn't sell. The media did not sell. Hence why our company is behind the scenes. That's why the only news you're getting of, of my company is on my website. My skive.net website, yeah. Is there? Well, you have a section for the game. I don't need to have a section for the game. You could have game news if you want. I'll, I'll think about it. I might have game news too. For the game, I'll just, like, when the game gets, for the game for my company, for, for my website, I'll just make an announcement they're making this game, and you can post the game trailers there too, but, but, but I don't know if I'll have a game news section, I don't know. I might have a game news section, but it's a small, it's a smaller, it's a smaller new, 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 new section. It's, you get very little information about it. It's not, the game's not as important as the movie and doc, obviously. But the Sky News are news, you're looking at a lot of news. Like, a lot of news getting updated and everything. That's why you have to hire interviewers to interview your actors, Peter or Mel, you and Vijay, your seven team, and the interview gets featured on the website. We have press conference, Ivan. No, I'm, I don't have any media. There's no press conference for my company. The interviews are just, it's, it's, it's written interviews. It's, uh, they interview us, they record it, and the, the, the typewriter has to type everything down. It's record. It's a lot of work. That's why I pay him a nice $60,000, and he writes down all the news. The web will ask you, Ivan, what are you thinking of for your Sky News? Okay, I think it's something like Variety, something like Deadline, something like Hollywood Reporter. You have magazine ad pictures featured there. Yeah, okay, Ivan, what you're just saying. You have a top, not unheard of news section. And all these YouTubers are like, fuck, man, I wish I could cover this. My channel will get so many views, yeah. And you chose to keep behind the scenes, and they're not going to cover it because I didn't sell, man. Yeah. Because I did not sell... Everything is, is, is behind the scenes. The only access you have to the news for my company is on my website. That's it. New, news out news outlets, um, YouTube channels are not going to cover my, my news, man. They'll talk about it in coding office. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for this. You know, so you see you see all these YouTubers. They're all excited. But they can't talk about it probably because I didn't sell. Me and Vijay are kept behind the scenes, man. Yeah, man. Which guy we deserve. And all, all these new, all these YouTube channels, have they covered my my news on SkySource? Their channel will be getting like so many views. Millions, even tens of millions of views, man. Something crazy. I would have boosted your channel and you what? You chose Keem Hines and says, whose fault is it? It's your fault, man. Yeah, man, don't blame me. Yeah. So Sarah? So, so, yeah, think something like Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, Variety for, for my news. Something really, really high tech. Tell the web about the way he knows. I want it like this, like like, like Hollywood Reporter, Variety, okay, I will see what you're saying, yeah. Is that right? In your documentary, will you have like a, an interview, a, a roundtable interview? Maybe, I might. I might do a roundtable interview with maybe... The seven team, me, VJ, Peter, and seven team, and Fran, and Barry Austin, all of them, and a round table with just the stars, like Hollywood Reporter. You have that be a part of the documentary. You have like a one hour interview or something like that. You can do that if you want, like a round table with, 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 with the actors, all the main 12, the main 12 stars only, the, uh, the producers, yeah, the cinematographers. You can do that like Hollywood Reporter if you want. You have that a part of the documentary, which I most likely will have something like that for my doc. You, the person interviews us, you see me, you, you're excited to see the one with me, VJ, obviously, because I'm so interested to watch, right? <laughs> yeah. Obviously. I might do something like that, but, um, but you, you will be interviewing the actors a little bit. Well, Ivan, do you want to focus more on the, on, on, on the actors getting interviewed, like in, like, like in documentaries, one-on-one -on -one with the interviewer? Or do you prefer the raw footage? The, focus more on the raw footage. That's more interesting. But you can have a few a few interviews here and there with me and VJ where we sit down and you talk to us. You have that, but focus more on the raw footage, guys. On the footage, less on the one-on-one -on -one interviews. The one-on-one -on -one interviews are not as interesting as, as the raw footage. 
The raw footage is more interesting, so I'm sorry. Okay, so you're saying, alright, but yeah, the way they don't. That's why we looking at the best documentary ever. Looking at an amazing documentary. Someone ring the doorbell. Sarah? Y'all, I'm just saying yes. That's why the doc will have crazy buzz. Really, I even, yeah, almost as much crazy buzz as the movie. The movie will have a bit crazy buzz because it's, it's a fucking movie. It's a, everything them are demons. They're excited to see me in a movie with visual effects and all that stuff, the special effects and all that stuff. But the doc will have crazy worldwide buzz too. Everyone, it'll be almost as good as the movie, yeah. It'll almost have the same buzz as the movie because people are going to be excited to watch that doc. The George Lucas documentary and the, the behind the scenes of the Five, five Years of Zanus. You guys are going to be hyped to see that, yeah. A 20 on, a 20 plus hour documentary, something long. Start watching it at like 1 o'clock. You watch like half of it. You go to bed at like one o'clock. You have that's why I release it on a on a Friday. Friday is the best day to do it. That way, you can watch it. You can go to bed Saturday. You're off. You can watch it again. Whereas if you release it on like Wednesday, they watch it and then they have to go to bed. They have work. <coughs> they wake up in the morning. They can't watch it. Cause they have work. <coughs> they have to wa wait till they're done work to watch the rest. That's why I release a documentary on a Friday. That way they have all weekend to to, walk, to finish my docs. And they can finish it. And like by Saturday they'll finish it. Since there. <coughs> yeah. Friday is a smart release day. Or Saturday. But Friday is a better day. That's when everyone's finished work. They can, uh, when, they, when they come back from work. They can, they can, they can, they can watch the doc. And that's why we're looking at that worldwide frenzy. For the documentary. Everyone's going to want to uh, buy their food and beer and all that stuff. Their beer. And most people in the world drink, right? Most people in the world are drinkers, hence why they're gonna the, the bill stores will be sold out. And a lot of food places will be will be will be closed, will be will be booked. Sorry guys, we're busy, yeah. I can't take any more orders, yeah. Since there? Yeah, when I film the movie, I don't want Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson filming the three volumes simultaneously. No, we film volume one first, then volume two, then volume three. That way we prep mentally for the demonic bulls and bats. I know what I'm doing. I don't want to film an opening scene at the same time I got to prep for the agony of, of everything. That's very unprofessional. I can lose my momentum with my, with my acting. No, Peter, like, listen to me or Mel. We film one volume at a time. I'm assuming hey, you have to listen to me on the boss or you went. We spend a good three, three and a half months. We finish filming volume one. Another three and a half months, we finish volume two. And another three and a half, four months, we finish volume three. So if you don't want me doing what I did Lord of the Rings, no. Don't film Lord of the Rings. Uh, don't film volume three while you're filming volume one. Don't do that. There's nothing worse than, don't, there's nothing worse than the actors prepping for the war. Or these demonic beings and they just finished their opening scene of the movie. That's very unprofessional. You can lose, the actors will lose momentum. No. Have them prep for that scene. I have to prep seriously mentally for that agony scene. So give me time. I need to prep for it. Let me start filming volume one first. Some Sarah. You see behind the scenes. Ready, set, action. <laughs> said. You see me acting. Holy shit. It's so cool seeing Ivan acting. Peter's directing your bell. Yeah. Ivan, try to put in more passion to your words. Okay, okay, okay. Scene two, scene forty-eight. Ready, set, action. So <laughs> said, and you see me doing the scene. Uh, you see me doing the scene. And Peter's, I'm that's good enough. <laughs> but I was like, I'm that's good enough. That's good enough, Ivan. I was there because I make it look so easy because I have the gaudy you knowledge. Yeah. Whereas those other Hollywood actors have to really try their their hardest, their hard, their their hardest. Because they're all normal compared to me. Yeah. Sarah. 
The Tower of Justice really has to try anything because she's goddess. She's a goddess. She has a goddess gene. Vijay, that's good enough. Vijay, try to put try to put a bit more passion into your acting. Okay, okay, okay. And Vijay acts and then Vijay, that's good enough. You know, said yeah. Obviously, she's not me, but she's she's she's, she's, she's special too, man. Yeah, man. Some Sarah. Yeah. What's the opening scene of Volume 1? The opening scene of Volume 1 is me training with Tassatonius and Cassius and Miramis. So you're going to see Don Cheadle. You're going to see uh, Jimo Hansu. Um, John Baega and me in the opening scene of the movie. When we're older. Don Cheadle and, 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 and Jimo Hansu are going to be in the prologue too. So they're, they're going to be nervous. They, you guys are going to be in the prologue. We're going to have a CGI technology to make you look younger. You guys are all in the prologue. And in Young Tacticus is you have the younger two kids playing me and me and Tacitonius. Tacticus and Ta Tacitus and uh, Tacitonius, obviously. But when we're older, it's now me and John Baega. And John Baega's all nervous because the first scene is like me and, 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 and him training the Zayn arts. He's like, Ivan, I'm fucking nervous, man. I'm nervous too. I've never been I've never been in one before. And Ivan, just do your thing, man. Don't worry about it, man. Do your thing, you'll kill it. You no know, saying I kill the role, yeah. The first scenes with me and him, and I'm fucking nervous. Yeah, he's like cousin. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna do a thing for the trailer. You know what I'm saying? For the for the for the teaser trailer, don't show my face until the very end of the teaser trailer. For like oh, for for like a quick second, you see my face like three seconds. <laughs> the real buzz. You know what I'm saying? You see John Wayne talking to me. He's like cousin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, uh, and, uh, he says something to me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like I don't know. You see me for like four seconds and the whole world's went crazy. Oh my god, Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool seeing Ivan in a fucking movie. Yeah, it's fucking cool, obviously. Yeah. Oh my god, John Vega, the Star Wars guy. He's in this movie. It's has Tony. Yeah, it's pretty cool, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in the, the, the extended trailer, you, you, you have more clips of me in the trailer. That's why I want to tell the, 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 the what? The, the special effects team know what they know. The visual effects team know what they know. Because the visual effects team are the ones who really, who are in charge of the trailers, right? Because they're the ones who put in all the special effects. So they, they, they're the responsible for putting together... All, the editor, right? He's responsible for putting together the trailer. For each volume, yeah. For my camera. 